another weird one for you guys this aspen was abandoned at a piece of property that i just bought um i mean it wasn't really abandoned but the guy that owned it uh he was like a salvage dealer and i'm using air quotes there this is something he bought from copart he cut the cats off of it and took the wheels and the battery out of it and scrapped it all and then kind of let this sit so i i had to clean the place up so i drug this out No key it had a key but it was magically lost so what i've done here is i've pulled the column apart i've got my ignition switch here's the immobilizer we're gonna plug that into a different immobilizer and i'm going to i already went through all this pulled the computer out so I'm going to go rewrite the VIN on the computer to, to match the immobilizer from the Chrysler 300 SRT8 that we have. Um, same year, everything should work the same, I think. Uh, it's a 5.7 Aspen. I think this thing's got about 200,000 miles on it. So it's not a huge dollar engine, but if I can verify the engine's good, I don't have to throw it away and I can make some more money. Cuts down the cost of the property and less waste. Everybody wins. So now I'm going to go program this to the new immobilizer and we'll see if we can get this thing running. The info pulled up from the donor of this key ignition. Now this uses a different ignition switch so I can't use that. But we're gonna take that VIN number, put it into this computer. We've got our computer plugged in here, programming rig. There's the VIN of the Aspen and we're gonna put a Dodge Charger VIN in there. Success! The green check mark means we're good. Now we're gonna read it again, make sure it's good. There she is. Charger VIN in an Aspen computer. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this computer back in here. And get this plugged in. It's gonna be a lot of fun with one hand. I might have to not record while I do this. Will you get back, do, do what I say. All right, I've got the uh, computer plugged back in. It's kind of hanging out there. Again, we're gonna take this thing all apart, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna gently put the battery box back in the, its hole. That's fine. Boop. We've got our positive, our negative. Let's go plug this ignition switch in. I think this thing's been sitting for like two or three years at this point. So the goal here is we're gonna plug the immobilizer into this connector here, and then we'll use a screwdriver to turn the ignition switch since this ignition switch here is different. Together, but I need to check the oil. Yes, you must check oil. You must. How long is this dipstick? Oil is present. It doesn't look bad. Gotta do our due diligence. Let's give it the voltages. Ooh, sparks. 
I need to select a screwdriver for my key. That should do. Let's see what we got going on in here. Uh, we have water. It's the water holder. Let's see here. Can I turn this with the screwdriver I selected? Probably not. I'm gonna try though. That was not this. Oh, we have miles, 100 and 96,000 miles. So third or fourth, five, seven, probably. Oh, we have, we have stuff going on here. Ooh, there's, there's, there's noises happening. There's stuff happening all over this vehicle. First time the key's been on. Oh, check engine lights flashing. So you know it's there. I don't know if I can do that with this. Let's get a different screwdriver. All right, well, radio's on. I just had to turn the blower off. The rear wiper motor's going crazy. Oh, it says it's in neutral. Will it start in neutral? It's not doing a thing. I guess I could find the uh, starter relay. Yeah, let's do that. All right, well, I found the starter relay. It's right here, and I'm gonna actuate it. <laughs> fuel in this thing. Let's go look. Shows fuel. I don't see an immobilizer light on in the cluster. I don't see any lights on to be honest. It's all lit up. Why come no start? Let's look up the fuel pump and maybe we can turn the fuel pump on manually. Or maybe the pump's bad. Okay, now we need to do both of these. Now, well, let's give it a fuel source. Uh, that's not good. That's the only one I found in there, so we're just gonna go with it. I think that's right? Yeah, I think that's that's good. Let's move the starting fluid just in case. The better of the two hoses the other one was uh, ripped in half it's this so i got the vacuum leaks fixed there was an acorn hanging out in the throttle body so that could have been bad and we're going to start this up again to see if it runs any better so let's go screwdriver on i mean key on 
I don't know if it's gonna start this way, but we're gonna try it. We got nothing to lose. No, it does not start that way. All right, dash lights are on. You gotta get starting fluid to get it started.